Good luck, boys. Gonna go for the four-bit fold here. So there you go, my friend. God, come on, ACR. Yes, there's the fold, but I get three out on ACR once again. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice one. Uh, I guess we re-enter. God damn it, man. Like, why do I have to, like, ah. Expensive shit, man, constantly re-entering these tournaments. Man, that's a nice fallback to get through, up to 200k. I made the money in the big fish. And that's it for lunch as well. Nice. Good night, Remaker, man. Thanks for hanging out. I have no idea, Tony. Like, I have literally no idea. Like, I, I have no idea. Oh shit, mama skills, let's get it. He's queen on an eight for playing. Uh, nah, life is definitely easier than online. But you just have to get settled in, into like things like that first. In the beginning, it might be a little bit confusing with stack sizes and stuff, but you will learn. All right, we might get Ryan's bounty over here with the ace queen. Good luck, guys. Here you guys, queens. Uh, let's hit an ace. Ace. Damn it. The natural eight losing streak continues for now. I'm about to lose another flip in the one and nine on ACR, man. Yeah. Nope, we're in the flip. Saved. Saved. Him saying nice for just makes him a fun player for sure. Somebody touch my spaghetti. God, it's getting so warm in here, guys. Didn't have time to change pants and break. Holy fuck. Oh, 
Damn. It's getting warm in here. It's getting hot in here. Nice fall bed. Thank you very much. Oops. And we bust this one. Got in my last two and a half blinds with check nine, but at least we cashed. That's the only thing that matters. Left, 15k just started. We can lay dredge. Oh, yeah, there's a bounty on ACR that we should play uh, on party. We should play, I think. Yeah, 55, 10k, 6k. Covering him with the bounty. Actually, let me just that limp. Get my last chips in here with the five minutes suited. Oh my god, it's so fucking. Like, ACR is so tilting, man. That guy three bets me super deep with queen check offsuit, double barrels. I call twice. Turns a bit close, but I make the right call and then he just reverses it again. So that's the ACR syndrome, dude. Super tilting. Uh, I was just his aces. What the fuck? Six. Six. <sighs> GG. What should I put on there? I guess we put this one on mine. Corner three with the ace queen o. Got shot Lero. Oh, I guess we create eight and eight eight should be running now, right? Yeah. Just started. I guess we're gonna light watch a little bit. Oops, I didn't check it. Um, over here we're gonna ice with this jam with five. It's the bottom of my icing range. It's on the flip. Yes. Nice. It's cool. Hey, screen, I check out the flop. Uh, just take short on value. I'm gonna have 10 9 to bluff here, queen 10 to bluff. Ace jacket blind versus blind with three out of nine. <laughs> Would be kind of weird to be honest if he uh, if he limp jams it here. I mean we still got a raise, but if he jams it, I'm not gonna be happy, and then I have to do some calculations. Love you so. All right. Big flip in the bounty thirty three for bounty. Oh, I actually can just show it to you guys now. And we lose the flip. It's a couple too many last flips today, I feel. And we all in on ACR with ace versus tens, and we win the flip. All right, there we go. <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there. A couple more flips, maybe. We're all in in the 109 now. This is where I got sucked out on the river with Queen Jack. Let's hope we fade a three outer. Yep. Almost back to starting stack, Poggers. 
Oh no, this is a five kiss dying stack. Yeah, it is. Cool. Yeah, we're about to bust a big uh, bounty 33. Let me open up the window so I can get some fresh air in here. Oh, yes. God, that fresh air is amazing. <laughs> I just realized how fucking hot it is in here. That's a nice cool breeze now. We have three bedding at this one. And down here we are with Ace 10. Nice flop for us in the three way part. We start with a bet. And a turn bet in the river jam. Pretty standard stuff. Slightly small. Okay, good luck. Nice. Good pot. Oh, wait, what's about. Isn't it a 50 euro running or something? Yeah, 50 euro turbo. Get me into that, baby. Back to the FT. Well, here, uh, bounty hunting with the check nine, sure. Um, that's a small one. We're getting two to one with the bounty and the cover him as well. Probably have to call this. Yeah. At least an easy decision now. Big flip, and we're about to lose it. Eight! Yeah, that sucks. We're pretty close to money there. It's a good run out. We probably should chop it here fairly often. Yeah, paid queens. Cool. All right, we're gonna fall the jam here. Hope he just folds it, boys. Two out of eight, man, with 36 picks. Like, this is not the spot where I want him to three red call. And he's gonna have plenty of three red folds here. I mean, the only hand I want him to three red call with is Ace-King. I hope he would fold like nines or some shit like that. Would be disastrous for us to flip it here. But yeah, good luck. Nice. That is pretty amazing. We gotta be careful, man. There's so many short sticks around. I see him is certainly pretty rough on me. Um, so he opened UTG. I defend the big one with king three of hearts. A check call the flop. And turn. We shouldn't double barrel too many ASACs, so I probably have to call once again. Folding like all of my ace highs here on the turn, like not besides like ace check or something like that. So I've got to peel some more, once more. And I mean, he only has ace to suit it, like it's a pretty interesting river. I think we're just gonna bet small and call off a jam. But I think he's gonna give up a lot on this river. Back to the FT guys. Alright, he snap calls my lead and we win the hand. It's nice. Good luck, Aces. Come on. Oh, that's the best. That hand is the best hand to see when you have Aces because it does the worst against it. And behold, that's awesome. Let's go. 
Ooh, that's the best hand for him to have in I have aces. And there was still a sweat on the turn. <laughs> right, two out of seven, guys. Let's do this. Maybe I should have just ripped it in there, honestly. Ooh, king for versus ace-queen. I don't mind ladders here. There we go. And good luck here, ace and suited, easy isolate. Can we hold? For a big stack in the 109. No three. Let's do it, boys. Let's fucking go. Uh, I'm gonna check this back. I should do that sometimes. Especially now with my image and him being tighter. I like it. Just gonna give up. Just a friendly give up here. You don't have to win every part. It's like a lesson I had to learn. And I'm still learning. <laughs> because I certainly don't like giving up. No. I certainly don't like that. <laughs> All right. Did I've been a follower forever, but 2018 is a wee bit narcissistic. Yeah. Um. Probably yes, a bit. But I mean, if I can use, like, everybody wants to know how much money or how much how the results are, right? So it's not anything like that I only want. Also, I can gain something from it, which is like a little boost to my Instagram. Seems pretty reasonable, but yeah, definitely a bit narcissistic. I think I definitely have some narcissistic tendencies, no doubt about that. Why is the quality of tables so bad? I don't know what you mean. Like these tables are just much smaller than these are, so that's the reason the quality could be worse. That's the only thing I could think of. He's king again, alright, let's go. It's gonna be fun if I like just raise here blind versus blind and just forward rip it again. He's gonna be tilted. Alright, let's do it. Another three bit boys. This time we three bit calling though. I hope the big blind doesn't rip it in here. It's gonna be so annoying. Yeah. I got a call here, I think. Oh, it's not great with ICM. But yeah, good luck, boys. Fate to nine. Boom, oh, there it is! Woo! Let's go! There it is. Ho! Let's go, man. Look at the stack size now. Chip lead Lero. Let's fucking go! I don't hate this far bad rip. Let's put some pressure on, boys. Let's fucking go! So you saw me just give up with the king queen, for example, but here with some more backdoor equity, uh, vector stuff. It's a great double barreling hand. 
I'm mostly going to give up here if he calls turn, but we really block all the hands. We want him to fold on the turn, like check 10, king check, king 10. Oh, we don't block those hands, and we block hands like king 7 of clubs that might continue and fold the river. So it's a great double barreling hand to give up on the on the river. And we get the fold on the turn, which is exactly what we want to achieve with that hand. So it's nice to see. Very successful there on Pathhead, inspiring more than anything. Thanks. That's kind of the goal as well. Because I don't like gambling, you know, I'm not a gambler. I want people to play poker for the fun of it. I don't want to introduce people into like blackjack or shit like that, you know. Or introduce them to blackjack, is I think the right wording here. I'm just going to give up my 7 8 on the spot texture. God, people are always bluffing, always getting down the river. Always, 100% of the time. But then on the other, like, speaking about being narcissistic, like, I, I definitely agree to some extent, but it's where I, like, gain a lot of energy and for what I've doing, you know, like, it's so exhausting to to do what I do and to get the drive from the community that feels inspired, that wants to achieve the same things that you've been achieving is actually, like, main part of my motivation going forward, you know? So like when there's messages like, well, I see craft player. I remember when you were playing one-door tournaments. Now you're like crushing this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, let's fucking go, dude, man. Let's, let's get shit done, you know? It's like getting me, gets me pumped up. Makes me excited to get up in the morning. Makes me excited to sit down for a couple of hours and study some spots. Like it's definitely like momentum-wise to, to have this like, to be like focused on my ego, you know, where that builds. I also have like more energy and passion to do things. Where's the flip over here for bounty? Because I work like a shit ton of hours with like doing some YouTube highlights in between and stuff, it's just, it's certainly exhausting. And if I didn't get like positive feedback and push my ego a little bit at times, I don't think I would have the motivation to do it. Mm -hmm. flop. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on the heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on the heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Mm. Thank you for that. For what? Ooh, big brain three bet. Take it, my friend. But he's a fish. I saw his lead sizing earlier. Uh, once again, not the worst hand to bluff with. Pretty soft flop over here. <laughs> Paul, guys, let's go. Woo. Let's do it. All right, let's fight a turn here. Big bad Lero. Just a queen jack of spades and deuces, I guess. And some random ace king. Nice. Good value. Pushing him round paid off, yeah. It's a nice thing about like well timed district aggression. When you actually have you get paid off as well. Good luck as I suited. Alright, we need a nine. Ten of clubs. Nine? Oof. That would have been a fun one. Yeah, thirteen big brand jam was an easy call with ace and suited. Ace Queen suited is part of the jam range, but so is King Queen and Ace Five. Thanks, Lika Zombie. Not the best flop for five twos. Start with the check call.
Ooh, what a turn. Let's go. Thanks, money taker. Made you still around? I thought you went to bed. Maybe I'm mistaking you for someone else, I think. <laughs> Ooh, over here. Um, I hope my checks you with three bad big blind over calls. And I call this the flop. So he checks back flop and raises my turn bet. It's pretty unusual, man. It's tough to fall to pair for now, though. Let's see what bring the river brings. It's highly unlikely he would raise a 4 on the turn. So he's like polarized towards a flush or nothing. And a lot of flush draws are probably betting flop. Flop is checked around. I'm going to lead the turn now. So I I don't like that he tanks that much. Yeah, okay, we got a call. Okay. Uh, I mean, I just give him like a bad rack tag now. That turn race is fucking awful. What the fuck are you doing? Well, lucky river for him. That was... Oh my god, that was just like straight up terrible. I don't know why he did that. Lucky for him. Very lucky for him. That was that was not good. Don't do that kids if you have a pair blind versus blind, don't turn into bluff in that spot at least. Um Let's bluff this on the river again. Let's go check bet check with this. Actually, I don't even hate an over bet here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for race here. Ah, it's not my favorite hand to do it with. Actually, I'm gonna fold this. <laughs> I don't wanna be blocking 9 7 and 9 8 and 8 7 myself. If I check 10 there, I like a race a bit more. What do you think about Dot ES? I mean, it's soft in one regard, but then there's like a bunch of regulars also. I'm not. I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about it. Rake is obviously high. I probably should. Like, I started playing the hot 100 euro every time, but I don't think it's a good tournament. I probably will stop doing it because it's just too reggy and the rake is too high to play it. So I don't know. Seems fine, but definitely gotta keep pay a bit more attention. I think to some things. Uh, it's still one of six, even though we just lost that big pot, man. I mean, that's. I, mean, I gotta take a note there. Just gonna min bet fold here. Well, let's see if we can beat a five. Pretty weird. It's like we'll just jam flop with with uh, draws, so. We just give up. Yeah, that's just a weird fucking play. It's just like good that he got lucky, I don't know. Like is his plan to like snap check by river or is he actually bluffing? Like I don't know, like I think he's just clicking buttons. Uh, why I can't see Nightbot? Because you maybe have blocked or something, I don't know. Pretty weird that you can't see it.
Uh, sounds great, Mr. Franklin. Uh, if you don't want to invest money, like get ICMI so you can study push fold and actually have a look at that stuff. And besides that, just talk to strategy with friends. Like go to some forums and try to find people they can talk strategy with. It's probably best if you don't want to spend money. We are called an open with a seven of hearts and a button. It's a pretty decent flop. Gonna start with a bet. Oh, here we just defend ace ten the big blind. Oh, it's it's pretty annoying that he wanted four three pot and that he would double with this ace queen. You know, otherwise, I would have been in a really really great position with my stack and the other guys being so short. So I check. So he check calls the flop. Turn is check check. River's kind of weird, man. It would be like a pretty big spot to fold here. Because I don't really bet many ASICs on the flop. So you can turn lots of things into a bluff here. So yeah, I'm still just calling, but not loving it. Yep, I love that bluff. That's a really good bluff because I just don't have many ASICs there at all. It's a good bluff for sure. Um, I just fold to the lay bet. God, ace king here in that ACR tournament. Um, 63 paid. Okay. That's the three bit called it off. <laughs> oh, money. Oh, the 530 hybrid is on today. Let's play that. If I have enough money. I do have enough money. Cool. $530 high roll on ACR, guys. It's also up. Um, yeah. Just gonna have it on the other screen for now. Might fire it up on the main screen later. We get over card and he folds. Welcome to ACR. Thanks, Yannick. Approximately how many people do you employ, sir? What the fuck? No. Not a single person. Let me just check now my skin here. Uh, uh, I don't know. Good luck. Okay. It's like tens or nines there. Well played, well played, dude. I don't feel like too many people bluff there, but then he's king. Doesn't really get better than that. I don't know. Come on, ace. Queen. Fucking hell. Uh, GG. Just lost the $33 on ACR. Nothing big. I'm just hungry for a win over there. <laughs> so every time I lose, like a. I was a huge all in there, so. Yeah, not, not too happy. Six big run pot. Mmm. It's so warm in here, man. He said we were like his name. <laughs> oh. Fucking hell, man. Oh, that's that annoying. Oh. I mean, his queen, I would never be folding. His check is like tilting. Pfft. Not sure, not sure. Oh, not happy about folding there, but I think it's the right decision. Yeah, not a happy camper. <laughs> Go 
Good flop for the queen turn. Already a really annoying spot in the first 30. Guess I just fold. It's a really small seabed. Let's call. Definitely gonna call the turn here as well. And see what the river brings. No, which is very bad because of the check. This is a small flop sizing. I have quite a few floats, so a bunch of bluffs here still. Things like, yeah, I'm pretty sure the Jack is a good fold, just because he can't even read them that well with him being short, you know? If he just runs into it so often with the guys being like so short all around. So I think he's gonna read them, has like ace eight off there. Also, I'm not op I haven't been opening that out of line yet because I'm neither in a position to be super out of line. Well, a good way to learn how to exploit fish is actually using um, solvers and training programs. Because you can only exploit someone if you actually know what the correct line is. Um, actually, I would like I don't hear the seabed here. The bot is just dry enough. I'm gonna fire one more. Thank you. Where he called a three birth nine, see bets the flop I call. Let's see what the river brings. Because I'm folding the turn. I hate the sizing. Okay, I'm going to fold. Hey, that's a KO. We're down to five now. Guaranteed 777 euros. Call it. I didn't hate it. I hate it that he's stacking up. I gotta be patient here. Many ICM punt layers on this FT. I mean, my East King call was like not amazing. I wasn't super excited calling it off there, to be honest. It's just, like with the ICM, it's just fucked. All right, <laughs> it's pretty sick right now with uh, ICM. Stack sizes are truly fucked. Hold, goodbye, sir. Keep on loving you. Down to four. Oh, I was about to check raise the flop here. Now we're just check raising turn, I guess. Oh, 
obviously every now and then we check run into like a check like ace four like a, a flush rod of check back the flop but a wall I think it's too much ace king is queen or ace ten or whatever to not jam here nice that's the call and we won against what do you have? He had ace three and made the call, guys. Look at that check race on the turn, you know? This is why we check. Literally the only way to get all of the chips there is with exactly that line. Good stack now. That was that was nice. Lucky turn for us. There's no bluff and she shaft with a 60k stack. Really, really appreciate your deep insight into this complicated topic matter. This complicated matter. Thank you, dude. To back me, I want you to want me. Oh, we have no Mender here. He opened the button. I fled the small blind. Just got a fold on the flop, sadly. Oh, fuck, I hit the ACR hotkey again. God damn it. C bets. Mm, just got a call. All right, let's squeeze this up. I'll be back, James. Pocket hands and behold. All right, good luck, boys. Low card. Low, 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 low. Yeah. Come on. Up to 40k in that tournament now. And that's our second bounty. All right, just gotta get some points, you know. <laughs> Hope he wakes up with a hand here. Nope, that's bad. Oh shit, that's not a jam. No nine. There we go. He lives a nice life, dude. <laughs> No, no special place or anything, but just gets there. 1.3k guaranteed. Another 900 euros to play for. Let's get it. How long have I missed removed for? Five hours. Oh, cool. It's gonna be a long stream today, I guess. I guess uh, I mean, I'm, I mean, uh, I still have like 11 tables right now. There's still some tournaments I want to play. But right now I'm just chilling. The three hand is going to take a bunch of attention away. Going to be all in with the ace check. Just going to read jam with the ACM and him involved. We just don't really want to do anything here. I'm not seabedding range here, but I think King deals with it. needs some protection. He can get some value as well. Might hear a call if he bets.
Ooh. Race pot over here. I bet the floppy raises big. I think he's just going in with the sizing like this, so I'm just moving in. I don't think he's going to fold much, but I was wrong. Still like the rejam. Lots of bad turns for us. If I had like aces, kings there, I think trapping is more mandatory. I'm um, obviously going to call here. King 7 on ace, a6 duels. Can't fold. And I think turn I should be calling once more, but he checks it to me. Just going to check it back. And this is an awesome river. Really unlikely we'll open the action again by betting here as a bluff. So we just win with our king high. I think that's a hand. Hands reasonably played by everyone. It's gonna fold here. Won't be limping super super wide. Oh, might have a little forward jam coming in here. It works. As well, if I get one double up here, we could have some fun, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See flop. Not that bad. That's kind of interesting. I could raise and then just have to call up a jam because we have too much equity, which is fine. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. I think we're gonna see a decent amount of just bad folds here versus our raise. Maybe he rips the 10 cent suited in here. Yep, that works for me. Nice. Obviously, just calling is also fine and ripping another $30 on ACR. I actually don't think I'm. Yeah, I'm just not re entering this anymore. Let me just get some bits. Sound like some bits. Um, Motus. Activated football giveaway. Holy shit, what did you do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Motors with 500 fucking bits, dude. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Damn. Thank you. No worries, JB need to. Uh, it's just tough. It's a lot of work to do YouTube videos. I mean, it's not even that much work, but I haven't been streaming that much during Scoop and Powerfest because I was focused on grinding myself. Now I'm back to streaming more, and there's going to be more videos again, but it's it's not that easy, man. I have worked shit tons, and it's, yeah, I just try to do YouTube videos when I can, I mean, it's a fun run, but it's not super easy. All right, let's see what happens here. It's gonna be another video later on today. I think I'm gonna to post something and then this fine table I think is highly worthy as well. Hopefully you can win it. Gonna call the turn here. Let's see what happens on the river. Yeah, it's the river. He doesn't go for the bluff. Here, check three. 
bit out of line for sure. Good for us. Over here, this guy limped. Uh, he opened. I fled to the small blind. This guy jams 18 blinds. Easy, easy, get in. And looks like we win the flip for a bounty. Let's fucking go. Limp the a7 suited. He raises. Just gonna call it. Interesting flop. Let's just call it. Decent turn. So he doesn't have a boat here. Just a good old six for four of diamonds here for him, please. If he's like he wants to check back to the river, still just gonna call, I think. Oh, come on, please go in, dude. And please don't have it. He just gives up. He had King 10. Alright. Yeah, as I said, let's turn to check back river. Kind of could see it in the sizing, that's the thing we should just check. Let's hope the big blind rejams here. Nope. But we're stacking up nicely, man. We're almost even to him now. Number in the red box is um, effective big blinds. Blinds go up. Oh, we got another break. Holy shit, time is flying by. Oh, exhausting grind, guys. We're battling, we're fighting, man. Whew. Oh, so sick. I think we're playing some pretty good poker. I wasn't happy with the one ace king call I made on the river here. That was a bad one, but besides that, I think we're playing some pretty solid poker. Even while still playing 10 tables. I'm ready, boys. Two out of three, pretty much tied for the chip lead right now. Guaranteed once again, 1,300 euros. Not the biggest chumps, but let's close, let's close this one out. We also have a really nice stack over here, really nice stack in this 109 bounty. Good stack in this 109 ACR. Not a good one. Three times starting, you know. Should be good enough to make it into money. We have the bounty 162 on the side, a 55 bounty, 109 on ACR. A $530 high stakes tournament as well. So um, as soon as this fine table is over, there's still plenty of action to come. for today. Alright. It's a little thing. The train is playing on ACR. One line high stakes Wednesday, one line big 10, 20k guaranteed, 530 high stakes Wednesday, 20k guaranteed, and $55 big 10, 15k guaranteed. All right, should start with a bet. Oops, sorry. It's about to turn as well. Chibli Lero, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna rate later some turbos, I guess. Uh, it's important. I don't know, the V of like playing a turbo right now is not worth it compared to focusing on the big stakes they have. I mean, <laughs> oh shit. Wait, what? Seems like a pretty loose call with King 9 off. He was like a 13 big man jam. Mm. 
Yeah, it seems pretty loose. Over 13 bigs doesn't make a big difference, but definitely a bit aggressive. Just gonna give up on the spot texture. Ooh, hello, flop. So he has a king. No diamond. Yes, there's another bounty. <laughs> it's the worst hand you can have there, man. So many odds. Over here I went for the 4-bet with aces, so it's a big plan 3-bet. Hope the guy's ready to rumble. Oh shit, good luck. Nice. <laughs> that wasn't that tough. Hmm. Oh, I bluffed the king seven. Just started out with ace queen versus queens. The bounty into fifty five and party. He saw me check a lot as well, so yeah. I'm gonna check the turn. And bluff the river again. Does he tank pretty long on the flop? Not really sure what to think about that. Uh, I'm still gonna. Pl ah, I have such a good hand though. Actually, I'm just giving up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I think our King High is actually a decent amount of showdown value still. Queen Knight of Diamonds, wow. I guess the tank makes sense. That's cool that he doesn't bluff there. It's fine, I think, especially with the, his combo. Let's see flop here. Top pair arrow, nice. Okay, to expect the flop means I'm gonna fire. Ooh, we got straight. Probably see that's king queen most of the time, so we should be pretty safe with our eight here. Alright, let's go. What up, Flip Lero? How are you doing, Soccer Lost? Damn, man, he's wide with these calls. Holy shit, King Six suited here? I mean, does he know more than I do? Well, I take it. We heads up, boys. Heads up for 2,200 euros. Uh, I'm really confident in my heads up game. I feel like lately I've been just crushing the heads up matches that I played. If there will be some heads up regulars, they're gonna laugh at this. But compared to the most MT players, I feel really, really confident. So let's hope we can close this one out as well. No, I'm just in New Zealand for a vacation. It's not really because there's any particular, like, uh, there's any, like, advantages or something. Obviously, the time zone is kind of nice to stream at this time of the day, but there's more action in the morning time. But it's just a vacation, visit the country. It's not primarily because it's better. To live here. I still live in the UK and I plan to live there for the next um, couple of years. Right, please stand at hand. He's definitely capable of doing some weird stuff. And he likes calling right. These are things we should remember. Should update the white to New Zealand. I mean, I'm just here for vacation. All right, checks it down. Do we see like a king queen or what did we see? Ooh, that's a good hand. Uh, he had king four. Yeah, totally reasonable check down. So if he finds a three bet here. Actually, I'm not quite sure if we want to slow play against a three bet or not. That's a big three bet, dude. Queen's always scary when you slow play. I think I'm just gonna click it back and go for it. 
Like we had a little dynamic early on, so I could see him like jam over this. Nope, just folds. It's fine with me. I mean, with queens, it's always a bit dicey. Like, we still win, like, a huge part without having to see a flop, which is pretty nice, you know? So, yeah, good start in the heads-up match. Well, here the big blind went for a squeeze. I open small blind flat, he squeezes the big blind and checks the flop. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna bet into that. I think his flop checking range is insanely strong, so I'm just going for value here. If he bets us again, this time I'm just gonna call his for suited. Pretty standard. A third part flop, third part turn, and now we're jamming river. It's not my favorite run out, but I just hope he can't find a fault with aces. Um, over here, so he three bets me a call. He bets really, really small on the flop, like insanely small. And I call. He checks the turn. And I'm gonna bet now. Just protect my hand a bit. And check back river and hope he could. No, it's exactly checks, man. I was on the, oh my god, I was so spot on with this flop sizing, god. <laughs> <laughs> that is just insane, okay. So I have him with the sizing, so it's all with the king 10 and now again. Damn, couldn't he just have checks without queens, then would be over. But yeah, um, yeah, maybe you should not bet the turn. I think it's pretty fine, though. I think it's fine. <laughs> that was so spot on with the flop sizing, with the checks. Oh. So we don't fuck this up, heads up. Um, let's check it back here. Ooh, baby, we check it back. Maybe he thinks I don't have an eight. No, why do you not bluff? God damn it, how does he check fault the turn here? I thought we had him with the nine, man. He looked like the type of guy that would just punt it off there when I check back the flop and the nine hits. Thirty eight big steep is an interesting stack size for a three bedroom pre flop. Uh, yeah man, he likes his flop small flop beds, eh? I'm gonna bluff the river here. I'm gonna give up <laughs> and just take my shot on value now. Alright. Come on, give me some more hands. Thanks, Avid. How are you doing? Da, 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 da.
Yeah, I think we're just giving up queen high, especially with the queen of spades. Reasonable. Ugh. Yeah, so tilting. Just grade 8 just had uh, the nuts straight and he jammed on the river and he had a boat. Not much we could do because he could also have the Vika straight without further information. Didn't show down streams to us many anyhow. Just a little bit annoying. Hobbinton, yeah, might, might go there. Probably. Let's call the race here. I don't bet the turn because if you ever check champs, they're just in the world of pain. I still have a bunch of 5x here, like 5-4, five 5-3, five ace-5, five, king-5, five, so I'm probably bluffing the river here. Annoying. Annoying little run out. Once again, pretty happy with my line. It's just all that matters. I never have a bluffing range with that 10 9 hand. I usually just give up when people check it to me. That was purely exploitative because he didn't see better flop. I wouldn't bet a flush on the flop either if he checks it to me. Ooh, there we have our flop. He sizes up this time. What does that mean? So I guess he doesn't have a draw this time around. Hmm. All right, 23 blinds, we all done with ace-jack. If he three bets or jams here, 25 blinds. Good luck, guys. That is pretty trivia. Don't mind the defaults there, to be honest. What the fuck is that guy doing? What the fuck did I just witness? <laughs> just gotta be a really big donation on another table. I'm gonna raise here. Just play my equity a bit. With top pair. And check all the turn now. Now we have a straight. Still just gonna check all. Hope he doesn't have to flush. Yeah, just calling. Nice. <laughs> Surprised he didn't bet that on the turn. That's the reason I checked the river as well, because I expect him to bet a hand like that on the turn, so I didn't really think we get that much value there. Works for me though. Best hand on the flop, we raise. Worst hand we check. Best hand we get him to bet. I just thought he had enough flushes there that I just want to induce against. Um, let's just call. It's a pretty easy call, call the side hand. <laughs> We're expecting to check raise lots of air. It's probably bad where he like check raises flop a decent amount of time. Maybe bets turn off and then gives up on lots of rivers. Yeah, pretty easy call for us. Good luck, let's hope the river is a six or diamond. <sighs> uh, that's annoying. Nothing we can do. Because it's getting there. God damn it. How do I not get there? Pick down 26 bigs. 
so many outs Laro. To walk this way, to walk this way. Oh, first limpy scene. Let's go and check the turn in Bluff River. Not sure if you have to Bluff River. Kind of feels like I should. Like, why do you hear me with King High? Who the fuck in the world bluffs there? God damn it. <laughs> I'm literally the only person in the world that bluffs there on the river. Literally the only one. Um, I guess we race call it here for us eighteen. We can also just jam. But I think race calling is to play. Or Nineteen big bands only. Obviously lots of variants in heads up. Just because I feel pretty confident in my game lately doesn't mean that I win every heads up. <laughs> so it means I win slightly more than I should. Playing the board here. Pots the river. I'll take it, my friend. It's much more likely to find the bluff somewhere along the way than on the river, you know. Man, this feels kind of qu quick with the blinds. Now I only have like 15 ish. Um, I don't think we induce fives. Uh, yeah, let's just call. Good river. Bad river, I guess. <laughs> we would have won on every other river. Um, I just want to check here. Be disaster to race fold that. Just float him with the overcard. It's a great turn. God, I'm just running so bad in this 8 8 tournament against this one guy. <laughs> he just flops like so amazing every time. And then like, I flop top two, he flops the straight. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna call down here, obviously. Really, really easy. Hopefully, he doesn't have it. Nice. Hmm, that's a great river. If he bets, I call. I think we should value bet. We don't really lose that many hands. We 
Cards of War, Deuce. Alright, fighting back, boys. Back over 400k. It's good, it's good. That's a big race. That's just two and a half X. Looked bigger than it actually is. <laughs> Could be a fun one. Good luck, boys. So be ripped in with a seven five diamonds. Oh, I take the fold as well. <laughs> mm. All right, pocket tens, you're playing for it. So he has eights or something, just a little cooler. Good luck. Hold. Hold. City, dude. Ah, oh, I just can't hold with pocket pairs with these fucking Asex hand, dude. GG. Oh, that's sick. God, we were right back in there, guys. We've that one. Holy shit, we had. We would have had a good chip lead. Oh, that's annoying. Holy shit. Oh, such a huge pot, man. Fucking hell. He would have been down to three hundred thousand chips versus a million, man. Three to one chip lead. GG. GG. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.